Good day YouTube and welcome back to Moonshine Vapor and today we're looking at Geek Vapes Athena Squonk Kit Fully Mechanical Box Mod As you can see there We've got 25mm RDA on top Got a locking mechanism And what you get is a well, you get two bottles actually, let's just show you what's in the packaging. In the box, you get one of these hard, well, it's, it was pre-installed hard plastic box, which I think is a bit naff. And then you get um, a silicone food grade bottle, which is, I find, very, very soft indeed. I think you need to find the kind of bottle that's like, kind of in between, but I wasn't quite impressed. I wasn't impressed at all with this bottle, this hard one. But anyway, you like I said, you get two squonk bottles in your kit. You get your users, your user, sorry, users, users manual. <laughs> it's in English and all kinds of different languages. So it's got everything in there that you need. Also, you get this little card with the Defina Hardiaza in different colours. And then you get your different colour box mods for kit and for your spares you get usual suspects your o-rings you got your tri tool you got a, a 510 pin normal 510 pin in your bag you got some grub screws you've got a 510 adapter and a 510 drip tip in the bag Okay, so you get fully loaded on that one there. So right then, let's just get down to the nitty gritty. Now, this is what you've got. It's well put together, to tell you the truth. It really is. Both doors come off back and front. So when you place your battery in, you can push your battery out through the back. There's none of that, like um, the battery tag that you use to pull the batteries out. They don't explode on them in these at all. Okay, but as I said, it is well put together inside. I was quite surprised when I got it out of the box and had a look at it for what it is. Can't go wrong. It's got a nice throw on the switch inside, as you can see there. And also, you got a locking mechanism, so you can lock that. Just push that up, and then as you can see, that's not touching nothing until I pull that lock switch back down into place, and then you've got contact. So there's not really much to say about the box. It's got a Fina on the bottom there by Geek Vape. It's got a Fina on the side, as you can see there. That's engraved in or etched in. Quite good. I'm quite impressed with this actually as looking at it for what it is so far. Can't really knock it. Now to say so a bit of time, I did put a build inside this baby. Just to save some time. And also yeah, when I'm talking about the drip tips, you do get an A10 drip tip hold them on top. You also have Top air flow. We'll turn that there. You'll see. Close that right off. Or you can have him fully back open. And what is one what's on the one side will be on the other side. Okay. And there he's looking inside of the, the Altin drip tip, your 810. Actually, quite well machined to tell you the truth. And you can see your uh, squonking pin is already installed into the RDA. Okay. Let's open this baby up for you. Yeah, got him open. Now the deck is a pulseless deck, as you can see, 
I think that's probably 24 goal, goal, goal played inside there. Very, very easy to build. The only thing is when you put your coils and you measure your coils and you stand them up inside, your pole soles inside there, you got to do your measurements and cutting your legs down, put it back onto the coil rig, or jig, sorry, put your other coil next to it and just cut the legs to measure off the first one that you did. And then it's just placing your cotton down. It's quite easy to get the cotton down in the sides. Make sure you fluff it out nice and evenly. And as you can see there. Okay. Now I use my own wire. I've done six wraps on a two and a half mil drill bit with some Clapton from Coralology. And that bill came out spot on 0 0.1. Okay. Then it's got some nice got o rings on the bottom. Two rough, two sets of o rings there. So when you actually put this onto the, the system, it's going to be nice and snug. And I'll sew it, sorry, I'll jump in the gun a bit here. Your 510 is spring loaded and you can see on the camera there you've got this nice engraving it's sitting on the side just there you can see it just overhangs it doesn't actually overhang over the edge but it does protrude in the respect that it sticks up slightly on the sides and it goes flush again on the top straight across okay show you there you go that's how quick the juices came out of that there not quite keen on this silicon bottle it's really 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 soft it really is now for those of you who's getting to squonking this will be the perfect starting squonking setup for you to tell you the truth it's a very straightforward device you really can't go wrong. You need to know about your battery safety and your ohms law as well. If you don't know and don't understand about battery safety and the ohms law, then stay away from these kind of devices. Because to me, a squonk box is almost like a tube. Well, it is almost like having a tube. The only difference is you've got a box here and you'd have a tube. It works practically the same kind of way in connection wise okay so don't get confused thinking it's something really technical it isn't because if you look inside that box there you see where your contact plate is up on the top here and it falls all the way down to your bottom contact and your top contact and then obviously where your tube coming down from your 510 there's a little tube there metal tube that sticks out from inside here where your bottle connects onto and the juice will go straight up through and through the sprung 510 spring loaded squonking pin as you can see okay so let's install battery before I do that put the back on notice as well there's a bit of rackle on these doors not major, but it is, there's enough. Okay, but the back seems to be a lot more solider. It's just the front door. But it's a nice mod, it really is. It feels good in the hand. I suppose, like, once you've got that in your hand and you're holding it, you're not going to get a rackle off that door. Okay, but if I do like this, you will. Well, I've seen about three or four of these devices so far, and they're all exactly the exact, well, actually did exactly the same kind of thing. So I think that's just down to the manufacturing side when they're making these boxes because they're mass producers, you know what I mean? And obviously, you might get one or two, or you might get them all. 
that kind of rack on it. Okay. So right, let's put the RDA on this baby. So uh, this baby performs. There is one on top. Now let's put the battery inside. Inside there you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, you've got the markings, you've got the negative, and just behind the bottle there you can see your positive just down inside the bottle. <coughs> Excuse me, bless me. As you can see there. Let's get this battery in. and snug. Now let's get some juice on top of this baby and get it started off. I found it very very easy to wick up. I can't lie about that. I like the deck a lot. The way they designed the deck is spot on for me personally. Absolutely spot on. Geek Fave pushing out some stuff right now, they really are pushing a lot of gear out. Absolutely flooding the market with merchandise. And as you notice, everybody's going mad squonky mad all of a sudden, so. As you can see. Let's get this juiced up. There's not much we can go say about these boxes because there's nothing technical about these. It's a very easy, simple device to make. And I've been squonking, or I've had, well, sorry, I haven't been squonking for that long, but I've had a squonk, probably about five or six squonk boxes in about the eight years I've been vaping, all custom built boxes. But as you all notice now, for those of you who don't know, all these manufacturers have just jumped on the bandwagon all of a sudden. It's a nice throw on that button as well, it really is. So we work some of that juice in a bit into the coils. It fires now. I don't like to see what this squonk is looking like. Through nice and even, that is absolutely. I'm just making that circle a bit before I turn it to the side. What a kickstart! Absolutely. Did I tell you what the build I had on this? Six wraps, two and a half knobs, all bit Clapton. It came out at 0 0.1 right on the nose. But yeah, this baby's ready to go. Now, the way they designed, let's just leave this here a second. You see the notches there, the two notches on either side. This is going to lock the RDA into section and it won't, break, it won't turn once it locks into place, trust me. It really is a good design. I like the way they design the whole of this RDA. Hear that then? That just clicked into place. Now, I can't turn that about turning the old device. It's just solid and it won't leak either, trust me. You won't get no leakers out of that, baby. Unless you turn it completely upside down and it's fucking neck. But no, you're not going to get no leaking from this baby at all. Sorted out. Oh, yeah, I've got that fully open. Get the door on. There she is. Let's put the lock up on it. Yep. 
So I'd lock sock four players there and I'm getting nothing. It's a very good idea that is, especially for the, the newbies that's getting through into these devices. That fucking thing cracks, man. Absolutely. And the juice I'm using in this is some uh, the new Dylan Lady dessert range. And this is what I'm using here today is a blackberry crumble. So yeah, they launched that at the expo this weekend, just gone. Absolutely stunning juice. So, looks like this baby vapes. Absolutely, and I've been vaping this juice for the last couple of days on different devices. The taste is exactly like it should do, do on this baby. I'm very impressed in this, it's a very good mod, it really is. I've seen this retail on some of the sites for about £45 up to £48.99 for fully mechanical mod can't go wrong if you get into squonking for the first time this is just you know you can, don't get me wrong you can get slightly cheaper ones but for the build quality and the safety aspect the fact you can lock the device it does feel good in your hand it's got a nice weight to it as well once you've got the battery inside you know to me does kick out flavour, most importantly, it really does, that's spot on that is. Absolutely spot on. And that's the Athena Squonk Kit by Geek Vape. Absolutely. Now where can you pick this up from? Right now, PNS Old Souls in Birmingham. Took a big delivery of these yesterday and also the pulse. Now I looked at the pulse, compared the two. And I do prefer this than the pulse, to tell you the truth. But it's each three are each that on at the end of the day when it comes to devices like this. But like I'm saying for the price of it, is the build. Is the weak. The only thing I don't like on this, the only con I can say about this device at the top of the head, well, that's just two. The door. It can make that a bit more secure or take away that rattle. That'd be perfect as long as I'm squeezing that in there now, it kind of stops. But no, you don't hear it. Now the battery's in there and everything else, you don't really hear anything. So it's not too bad of a device. It really is well made for the price range that they've got heading for in the market. Um, the fire button is just a nice throw on that. Look at that. Sweet. You can't beat it whatsoever. You should get some better. I think you need to find a better bottle for this. I mean, this don't really works what it is, but when you press this baby in, let me just check something. Let's just get some of this off here first. Violent little bastard, isn't it? Squonk some of this juice back up inside here now. Now, if you can see the bottle, I'll just pop back out then. <laughs> it, it tends to stay in when you press it. And then takes its time to pop itself back out. I think that's the only really kind of got about this device is the squonk box itself. I mean, the one that was sent with the hard one, I'm not too keen on because to me it feels a bit too hard. It really does. 
But like I said, the kit contains everything you possibly need apart from battery. So you can't knock them at all. I think they've done a good job on this squonk box. They really have. Nice. Absolutely. So there you have it. The Fina Squonk Kit by Geek Vape. I can't knock this device really too hard because it is what it is. So the mass and the mass is out there, you know to I me. Mean? And I have done a good job on it. Fire as well, it's hard man. You're seeing that the way that kicked up, and not only, not only that because of the build, but you can tell by the contact, it's got good contact on it straight through the whole device. There's no lag there, so the touch that button is on. Yeah, that it's on. So, yeah, well done, Geek Vape. You have produced a decent squonk box for the massives, absolutely can't knock it in that respect. So there you have it. There you have it. Get out there. If you're looking to get into the squonking. There's a lot of devices in the market right now. But for the money. The way this box performs. I can't knock it. I really can't knock it. Like, comment, subscribe. When you do actually get your hands on one of these boxes, if you got one already, please comment and let me know what you actually think about the box itself from top to bottom. Okay? This is Moonshine Vapor, right? And have a good week, everybody.